I know, I know, I know. In my last video, I said my next video would be a documentary style video. However, we moved. We moved to a different spot in the same campground, but we moved from very bad internet to absolutely no internet. Sure, on occasion, we can get one bar on our phone, but it definitely isn't enough to get any work done. And it's definitely not feasible for me to drive into town every day. However, as I'm editing this video, we are getting our very own private satellite internet installed. This should solve all of our internet problems, or at least we hope. But until then, here is an amazing how to make your own vegan avocado sandwich and oat milk video. I hope you enjoy. For this recipe, you're going to need whole grain bread, plant-based butter, hummus or smashed chickpeas, cucumber, tomato, avocado, lime, lettuce, sea salt, cayenne, and nutritional yeast, aka nooch. Put the stove on medium heat. Add a little bit of butter to the pan, or you could put it directly onto the bread first, but I just find this way to be a little bit easier and quicker. I always use half of an avocado. For Cory sandwiches, I use the whole half of the avocado, but for mine, I will use half of a half, so a quarter of the avocado. And I just smash the avocado up right in its shell, that way I won't have any extra dishes to mess with. Just remember to keep an eye on your bread. When it gets toasted to your desire, you're going to flip it over and toast the other side. Depending on the size of the cucumber and tomato, I usually will add 4 slices of each. Although Cory and I do prefer our bread to be pretty toasty, this was a bit much because I had the heat too high. When both sides of the bread are toasted, now it's time to start adding the toppings. Add a thin layer of hummus or smashed chickpeas to one side of the bread. In this recipe, I'm using a can of drained chickpeas and I just smashed them up, added a little bit of salt and a little bit of nutritional yeast. Spread one quarter to a half of the avocado onto the other piece of bread. Add your tomatoes and cucumbers and the juice from a quarter to a half of the lime. Now sprinkle some sea salt, some cayenne pepper, and nutritional yeast. And finally, lettuce. And voila! Your vegan avocado and chickpea sandwich. For this oat milk recipe, you're going to need one cup of rolled oats, four cups of filtered water, or if you live in Finland, tap water, a blender, a big bowl, a nut milk bag, and sea salt. Optionally, you could add one whole pit of date or one tablespoon of maple syrup. Just add the one cup of rolled oats to the blender, and there's no need to soak the oats because soaking the oats can actually make the oat milk slimy. Next, we're going to add four cups of water. This is the step you would add the date or maple syrup and one pinch of sea salt. You can adjust the salt level to your taste. I didn't have a date or a maple syrup on hand, so I omitted them. Blended for 30 seconds to 1 minute. Be careful not to overblend because this also could make it slimy. Line the bowl with the nut milk bag and then pour the mixture in slowly. 
If you don't have a nut milk bag, you could also use a cheesecloth or an old t-shirt. Also, if your nut milk bag doesn't have very fine mesh, you might have to double strain the oat milk mixture. Lastly, pour the oat milk in a glass jar or milk container and store in your refrigerator. This creamy and smooth oat milk can be enjoyed as a creamer in coffee. It can be poured over your favorite cereal. Or why not just drink it out of the jar because it really is that good.